What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike. Welcome back to another Tyler Perry Sisters video. Now, this is going to be the review for Sisters Season 5, Episode 1, titled Pain and Suffering. Now, this premiere was an okay premiere, man. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I liked the Oval premiere way better than this one. This one was kind of boring, in my opinion, man. I'm tired of this Gary and Andy stuff. And I'm just sick of all this unnecessary bullshit that we have to look at. The only thing that honestly piques my interest in every episode is Zach and Fatima. And that's why I'm glad that they decided to make Zatima. That's a great show. You know, I reviewed the first two episodes. I got to review the rest of the season or whatever. All the episodes that came out so far. But I love that show, man. I think I like that show more than Sisters because... We just keep dealing with the same BS, you know, with Gary and Andy and all kinds of other stuff, you know, with Preston and Danny. Like, I just wish they would figure this out, who they want to be with and stuff like that. You know, Fatima and Zach have it figured out. I wish the rest of them could as well. But we see Fatima and Andy talking in her office. Fatima opens her mouth about Gary calling her a bitch and stuff. So Andy goes in Hayden's office where Hayden is talking to Gary. And Andy actually hears Hayden call Andy a bitch. She's not happy about it. And, you know, Hayden is pretty much telling them to get out of his office. He's talking crazy to Fatima. Fatima leaves. And then it's just those three in the office. But they say they want a minute alone. So Hayden leaves. Gary and Andy are talking. And Andy basically tells Gary, look, no more of this. You know, we just need to end it. You need to accept the fact that this is over and Gary's just crying, saying, you know, she makes him crazy and stuff like that. He said he doesn't know what it is about her. He just loves her so much. She doesn't want him to sue her. So she pretty much says, look, I'll give you the apartment and the car back and everything. And let's just leave it at that. And she leaves. So basically, you know, she's going to give everything back to Gary. But I don't think this is going to be the end of these two. I think Gary's going to be back. He's going to be on his obsessive shit like normal when it comes to Andy and we'll just have to wait and see what happens. You know, we see Zach come up to the job to get Fatima. And he wants to take her on a date, I guess you could say. It wasn't really a date because he just takes her to the spot where they met. Where Fatima hit him with the car. And he says, look, you know, if things get bad between us or whatever. If we feel like we can't find our way back to each other's heart. Let's just go back to this spot and remind each other that, you know, this is where we met. This is where things started where our love started and stuff and she's like really that's it that's the date and he's like man come on i'll take you to dinner these two are just so cute in my opinion man i love the relationship there's no two on this show that can compete with this relationship you know we see karen in the hospital pam is there with her but she tells pam that she can go and we hear you know karen on the phone with her mom and it's crazy because her mom hasn't been on the show in a while like a long time i think it was maybe season two or something so we finally see karen's mom come back her mom comes up to the hospital she's just giving her advice because karen obviously still loves zach she's saying that and stuff you know she tells her mom she's pregnant and her mom's just giving her advice she says look your father and i split up and I was mad because he got with somebody else and he was everything I wanted him to be when we were together with that woman. And I was upset at first, but now I'm not. I'm glad it happened. And she was basically telling Karen this so Karen can move on with her life and so she can stop holding on to Zach. And I really wish she would because it's getting on my nerves. But her mom gives some really good advice in my opinion. Now we see Aaron go to the salon looking for Karen. Pam is not trying to tell him where Karen is at. Then we see Andy show up too. She's looking for Karen. And Aaron and Andy go in the office to talk. Aaron's just asking about Karen, trying to get advice on her and stuff. You know, Andy isn't really trying to say much. But she says, look, if you tell me what you and Gary talked about, I'll give you more advice on Karen. And Aaron was basically just sticking up for Gary, saying he's a good guy. Saying, if you... You know, take time to learn more about his past. Maybe you'll understand things. And she said it's too late for that. And when Andy's getting ready to leave, Aaron says, can you please tell Karen to call me? We also see Q at the house and Calvin walks in and Q is cooking dinner like always, trying to suck up to Calvin and Maurice all the time. 
And Kelvin is suspicious of this dude because he's just, he's not normal, man. He's not acting normal. And now we finally know what Q is up to, man. He set up Sabrina and Maurice. What a bitch. But he's trying to give Kelvin dinner and stuff. And, you know, Kelvin says he's getting ready to move out because, you know, he doesn't want Q there anymore. And Kelvin keeps getting this call from the corrections. And he's like, man, why am I getting this call? I don't know any criminal besides you. And when Kelvin is trying to get his own fork or whatever, Q turns off his phone. So he obviously can't get any more calls. And then we see Sabrina at the jail. And they're treating her like a straight criminal. You know, they're telling her she has to take her hair out if it's not her real hair and stuff. They're telling her she has to strip naked and do all this stuff. And I honestly feel bad for Sabrina, man. She didn't do anything. She got set up and they're just being really mean to her. So we see Sabrina is an inmate now. They did not show Maurice. I hope they show him in the next episode. We also see Danny at the airport. You know, she's dealing with this drunk customer who's being very mean to her and stuff. And then we see Preston show up to the airport. And he's like, look, there's this woman that has loved me since we were kids. And I'm ready to marry her unless you tell me not to. So I don't know what's going to happen with these two. And apparently this is a white woman who he's talking about, I guess. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if Danny's going to tell him not to do it, not to go or whatever. She's stubborn, so she probably won't. I don't know if Preston is really going to go marry this woman or not. I don't know what's going to happen with these two, but I wish they would just figure it out. And that's basically everything that went down in this episode. It was a decent premiere, but it wasn't great. Let me know you guys' thoughts. Comment your thoughts down below. What are your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else for the rest of season five? I'll give this episode a 6.5 out of 10. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Tyler Perry sisters content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash the notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.